Hello, Whitehall? Hello, Sir Harry. Yes, here I am in Belfast. The Royal Commission on Northern Ireland, yes. Uh, here's my preliminary report I promised you. I've been over here about a week now, and I think I've got a rough idea of what we're up against. Now, the first thing that struck me was that there appears to be some kind of a nationality problem here. Well, there seem to be so many nationalities. You see, there are these Irish people, and then there are these British people, and then there are some chaps called Ulster men, and then there are the West Britons, and the Anglo-Irish, and the Ulster Scots. There seem to be an awful lot of Chinese in Belfast, too, but that may not be significant. Anyway, I went straight off to Stormont to see the government chappies, and I got straight down to brass tacks right away, and I said, now look here, chaps. What's all this we've been hearing about corruption? Now, they were frightfully nice about it, and they explained it all most convincingly. You see, all that electoral boundary stuff is really something to do with Irish miles being longer than English ones. And impersonation, I gather, is really friendly people helping out their friends when they're busy. Hmm. Now, then there were the nationalist chappies. Now, they were frightfully nice, too. And they knew they'd get a fair deal from Britain and everything, what with this royal commission coming so soon after they'd gone to all that trouble to get a new bridge named after the Queen. But while we were having a few drinks, you see, this way out chappie wearing a green kilt came over to me. And, you see, he had this amazing theory that the Second World War was all a blind to disguise an Anglo-Nazi pact to keep Ireland divided. Well, I must say, I thought that was a bit steep, and I told him, we don't care if Ireland is divided or not. In fact, I said, ha, huh. and I said, I, we, I didn't even know until the other day that Ireland was divided. Well, that made him most angry, you see, that Britain wasn't interested in Ireland, and he said he could put up with any amount of tyranny, chicanery, or treachery, but disinterest was more than he could bear.